Well, hi guys. It is March the 7th or 8th, Wednesday, I think. Tuesday. Yeah, Wednesday. Uh, been working on several things on this today. Um, installed all the new heater hoses. Which has been a trick because I'm trying to remember what I did four years ago taking this apart and trying to do my level best and remember and stuff. I uh, have all the hoses run now, all the coolant hoses are hooked up and replaced. Uh, this was kind of a joke having to make this contraption uh, mainly because I didn't want to spend $189 for the Ford made hose to replace it so five feet a half inch hot water hose or heater hose and I don't know how much don't remember how much five eighths heater hose and learned that the outlet for the heater hose from the water pump goes to the outside. And the inside comes down to the T, which goes into the block down there. And the T goes down across the front of the frame over to the driver's side corner of the lower radiator and gets hooked up there. I uh, have got the fender put back on and I got the battery box somewhat bolted in. The tank is hooked up to the expansion tank to the hose that goes down to the T in the bottom radiator hose. Got the short one hooked back up. Uh, test fit the AC and it goes right over right under so that's going to work out I uh, dug my end that was broken plastic line vacuum line that goes back here to this canister valve which I've got to get a piece of hose for that I uh, figured out that this end, the vacuum hose which goes over to that tank, not tank, it's a splitter T, multi T, uh, that's got a supply hose that comes from the vacuum pump, hooks to it, it hooks to this hose, or this hose hooks to it. This hose hooks to this, which I've got to get another joint like this. Uh, it's a check valve, whatever, to go between this and this, and that's figured out. I uh, got to bolt the map sensor down yet. She already done it, but a uh, million other things to do here. Um, like I said, I'm trying to remember from four years ago what was what. And it is not all that easy to remember this stuff. This goes to my windshield washer. Uh, this plugs to here. And this... Uh, oh, map sensor. Goes right there. So, I'm trying my level best to remember where everything goes. I already slightly screwed up, and this wire is supposed to go over top of the heater hoses. Well, it's going to have to live this way now. 
I just have to make an allowance for it and figure out a way to attach it to where it does not get damaged because it was supposed to hook right on this. Oh well. Uh, yeah, I'm telling you, trying to remember what you did four years ago and you got to look around and look around and look around. I'm telling you, it ain't easy. But the battery box is sitting in here, partially bolted up. Um, a lot of the bolts in the fenders, or the speed nuts that are in the fenders, aren't that good. So I haven't cranked them down for that reason. But I'm getting everything back run to where it's supposed to be I've got some wires like these I've got to figure out where I'm going to ground them to probably pull that bolt out right there that holds that in if you can see it holds the core to the fender because I want to get everything back grounded as best I can before uh, I start having electrical gremlins uh, making sure everything's grounded so uh, <laughs> it's been kind of a long day uh, me back is killing me and I think it's time to call it but the heater hose, all the coolant lines are now hooked up. And everything is somewhat secure. I can start putting antifreeze and water mixed together to go back into the radiator. Um, yeah, lots to do. Lots of temporary bolts such as these. Because that uh, is how that piece that goes under the radiator, or the, I don't know what to call it. <laughs> that bolts underneath to that. There's two bolts in it. Uh, one's right there, which is broke off. And the other one came out, so I got some work to do there. That has to get cleaned up and painted. Um, there's, uh, I've got a ton of work to do to paint this front end and get it assembled. But for now, it's get everything hooked back up so I can crank this engine over. And that's what all this is I'm working toward. Um, getting the engine to where it will crank over where I can start testing stuff and when I crank it over I want fuel in the tank because it's empty so when I crank it at all I want it to start sucking that fuel because uh, it's going to take a while to get it up here and get it bled out that's going to be a fun process and with diesel fuel at, uh, what was it, 450 a gallon, it's going to be fun. But it's what I got to do. So that's what I'm working toward. Ultimate goal is to get everything hooked back up with the brace on here, fender on it, everything's attached to it. That makes cranking it over a lot simpler. Uh, like I said, I took this apart four years ago. And I am doing my level best to remember where everything went. And that's not always been easy. Uh, for about a week, I could not find this. The vacuum hose, I thought it went straight 
to here, but it won't reach. And I kept thinking there's got to be something else. Went on the internet looking for pictures of 73 diesels, the engine, and finally found one. And I got a little view of something about like that. And it kind of jogged my memory, something being on that inner fender. So I come up, got the inner fender out, and lo and behold, there's my vacuum hose. And this long one hooks to it, goes over there for the AC, heater, whatever, I don't know yet. Um, yeah. But uh, I need to ask you guys a question. And I'm pretty sure I know the answer to this. Because these trucks were built basically with a one wiring harness. Now when I say that, I mean... Uh, mm -hmm. Years ago... Every truck, every engine combination, every option combination had a different wiring harness. And Ford finally got smart and figured out that you make one wiring harness for the truck. No matter what engine's in it, basically from here inside the cab had one wiring harness. From here out, each engine had a harness that bolted here. Uh, that's the brain box uh, here and here. That uh, pretty sure the one down there is the lights wiring fuel tank, all that kind of stuff. This is the engine harness to the fuse box to the engine. Now, I'm, this truck did not come with a re AC originally. AC is going to be put in it, as you can tell over there. Now, I can get a compressor. I've got one, but it's got the wrong pulley and stuff so it won't work on this but I don't have the wire that goes from the compressor to here however I am pretty sure there's this one and this one down here got my fingers on there one of these two is for the AC compressor I am not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it is. Maybe one of you guys out there knows proof positive and can point me in the right direction. But I'm assuming one of those two plugs is for the AC. You just kind of have the, wire, the pigtail wiring harness to run up to plug into there to go to the compressor. At least that's my thinking. Now... I have a lot of more, lot more stuff I've got to hook up, uh, fig, figure out, hook up, where stuff goes. So this is going to be an ongoing battle to get this thing rolling over. Now, like I said, I don't want to try to start it right off. It's a waste of time. What I do need to do is get the engine rolling over, get fluids, oils moving back in it again, and to draw fuel from the tank back up to the fuel bowl, which I know I'm going to have to bleed this several times. Uh, but there is a Schrader valve. Where is that thing? I know there's one on it just for this to bleed right there just take the cap off and 
let the air out, crank it over some more, bleed it again, yada, yada, yada. You know the drill. But we're getting a lot closer to getting this thing rolling over and to starting. But it's one thing at a time. I got the all the coolant, new coolant lines run. Well, this one all run today. I've got the fender back on. I've got the battery box in. The expansion tank. It's all hooked up. Uh. Yeah, and I'm like I said, I'm just really trying to remember where everything goes, where everything is. So it's going to take a take me a while to figure it all out. So I'm going to end it here, guys. I'm calling it a day. I've got a lot done. I'm happy. So whoops, get this back here. Uh, I'm going to leave, go up and get a piece of hose to hook to here to there. That's done. I can tape this back up. And tomorrow, I'll see what I get into. So, for right now, I'm calling her a day. So, we'll see you next time, guys. And as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, this is quite the jigsaw puzzle to put back together after four years. <laughs> and if you don't think it ain't, try it yourself. You'll find out. <laughs> See you next time, guys.